Thank you for telling me, Diana. In Season 1, Episode 8, Lord of the Tides, the HBO series, which is based on George R.R. R. Martin's novel Fire and Blood, makes yet another time jump. Due to Lord Corley's Valarian's absence, succession issues are present over the throne of Driftmark once more. Daemon Valarian, his brother, wants the position for himself because he thinks Lusaris Targaryen, who Corley's had hoped would follow him as Lord of the Tides, is an idiot and does not have Valarian blood. The king's illness and the turmoil surrounding his estranged family linger in the backdrop, and viewers learn a little about what the individuals have been doing in the six years since Episode 7. The young serving girl, Diana, is brought before Queen Alicent in a scene early in the episode. The girl apologizes and throws herself at Alicent's feet, telling her that the prince, later identified as Agon, raped her. After initially being polite to the child during the scary conversation, Alicent claims that no one will believe her and offers her tea, which is likely the pregnancy-preventing moon tea that little Renera had previously been given. Later, when Alicent's daughter Helena inquires about Diana's whereabouts, Alicent gives her a silent hug. In an interview with The Hollywood Reporter, Jita Patel, the director of the episode, explained how Alicent and Diana interacted with one another. The showrunners of the series considered that Alicent would bribe Diana to disappear, and that the tea the girl was served was non-lethal, confirming that Diana is likely still alive. Diana's disappearance looms over the episode even though Patel revealed that she was administered moon tea to avoid conception after being raped by Agon rather than a toxic mixture. Even if the fate of one serving girl may seem insignificant, understanding how far Alicent went to make the innocent girl vanish will help you understand how far she will go to protect her children, even when they are at fault. This information serves as crucial foreshadowing for the upcoming fights. Additionally, if Diana wasn't slain by Alicent and she later reappears, pregnant or not, her presence may make Agon's claim to the throne more difficult to prove, given Alicent's stance as the face of duty and morality. It appears from Patel's response that Alicent did not explicitly order Diana slain. It's possible, though, that she paid the girl to vanish before putting out a hit on her. Years have passed since Larry's ordered two killings to serve her cause, and Alicent seems to have only grown more brutal and confident of her beliefs in that time. She may have been appalled at the time. In any case, the show appears to have purposefully avoided addressing Diana's disappearance or potential demise. So perhaps the character will make an appearance just before the House of the Dragon Season 1 conclusion. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to comment, subscribe and give us a like.